Yep. I bought a red camera. But I'm gonna get to that in a minute because I've got other things I gotta do real quick. I've gotta set up these speaker stands that my buddy Kevin hit me up with, so uh, I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, good news is speakers are set up and I have more room on my desk. Bad news is my cable management looks even worse than it did before. So I gotta figure out how to fix that. Okay, so that only took about like 15 soul sucking minutes of my life, but here we are. So why did I buy a red camera? And more specifically, why did I buy a previous generation red? Cause I know some of y'all in the comments are probably gonna be coming at me. Why did you buy a, an old red? You could have bought a red Komodo or a new red for like $6,000 or something like that. I totally understand why you guys are gonna be saying that, but I do have my reasons as to why I went with the Red Raven here. First of all, I have shot on DSMC three bodies. I shot on the Komodo for several different films. And I also have shot my number of films on this specific camera right here. This camera I actually used to shoot the Starbucks affair on, if you guys remember that film. And the main reason as to why I actually went with an older generation red was compression control. That was one of the biggest reasons why I went with this because if you've used a RED camera before, you know that you can control how compressed you want your image to be. With DSMC2 bodies, you're able to control your compression via a ratio. So on DSMC2 RED cameras, you're going to see when you're controlling your compression, you have a plethora of compression ratios to pick from, from one to one all the way up to 22 to one, I believe. So to massively oversimplify this, for example, if you have a 10 to one ratio, you are averaging out the pixel information from 10 pixels down to one. That is one of the things that I absolutely love about the DSMC2 bodies. But in the DSMC3 bodies with the red Komodos, they actually change to a different compression system. So you only have three options, LQ, MQ, HQ, or low quality, medium quality, high quality. On the Komodo X, they did give you the option for ELQ, so extra low quality. I personally did not like that loss of control. So that is one of the biggest reasons why I went with the Red Raven right here. The Red Raven shoots up to 4.5K, which I personally think is perfect, just a little bit above 4K, since 4K is the standard. I personally don't think there is any real need for anything higher than 4K, unless you're doing VFX work. And even then, 4.5K is perfect for VFX work. You get tons of information to get good motion tracking and camera solving and etc. So when I shot the student film, I actually shot at 6K and it did overload my PC and I had to make a lot of proxies for it, which was kind of annoying. So the Red Raven files are perfect because my PC can handle 4.5K like it's nothing. And like I said, I can control the compression ratio to as specific as I want to. So overall, the Red Raven was a great choice for me and I absolutely love this camera. I love the colors of Red Raw. I love the amount of control that you can have in post-production. Being able to change your ISO after the fact that you shot it, that is just another level of control that I still, to this day, can't believe that we have. Of course, it's not an excuse to shoot incorrectly. You need to expose your shot correctly whenever you're on the spot. But say if you overexpose just a little bit or underexpose a little bit, it really is not that big of a deal because the RED can handle it with RED RAW. Just change the ISO in post-production. I've yet to do more stress testing with that because whenever I'm shooting with RED's, typically we're shooting a project and I can't experiment with it that much. But now that I own this camera, I'm gonna be doing some stress testing with it, but that might have to wait for a different video. And this might also sound ridiculous. This is obviously not the main reason why I bought this camera. I just like the look <laughs> of DSMC2 bodies. Like these feel like red cameras. Whenever I imagine red cameras, this is what I'm imagining right here. Whenever I picked up the Komodo, it didn't feel like a red. I know it says red on it and it is a red camera, but it didn't feel like I was holding one. When I hold this camera, this feels like a red. Definitely keep on the lookout for more projects because you know they're gonna be looking good with this guy. Now I'm about to get some food that I haven't had in a real long time, dude. I cook a lot in these videos as you guys seen. I think today I gotta get some good. Chick-fil-A, dude, feels good. And by the way, if you work at Chick-fil-A, are you guys required to say my pleasure whenever somebody says thank you? First of all, the cashier said my pleasure whenever I said thank you. 
and the girl who gave me my food, when she gave me my iced tea, I said thank you, she said my pleasure. And of course, whenever I was rolling the camera, she didn't say my pleasure. I think they're actually required to say my pleasure whenever you say thank you. So we're about to experiment with that real quick whenever I get my food. You ah. are well. Thank you very much. Okay, they all said my pleasure whenever I was ordering. Trust me on that. I think it's also because we were talking over each other. Anyways, got the OG spicy chicken deluxe. Go to meal on the menu, see how it is. Oh. I'm not overreacting on purpose. I actually haven't had Chick-fil-A in so long. You know, it's also strange. I always eat my sandwiches upside down. I don't know why I do that. Well, by the way, Chick-fil-A sauce is the only way to go. I'm not a big fan of the other sauces. You guys can fight me in the comments down below. You're not gonna win. <laughs> Ooh, so I have an overnight shoot tonight. Uh, I'm doing fight choreo. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot more videos about that shoot coming up. I thought I was gonna have to go back into work tomorrow, but thank God they asked me if I wanted to take the day, the day off tomorrow. So I can go to the shoot tonight and then not have to worry about going into work tomorrow morning. This week has been going a little bit too well, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm, I'm worried that it's gonna do that thing, you know, where things are going a little too well and out of nowhere, something hits you hard. So knock on wood, my entire floor is wood. So knock on wood, nothing happens. But so far so good, I'm just enjoying the good time while I have it, the sun just disappeared. So I'm gonna clean up my apartment before I go to the shoot. If you made it to the end of this video, you know I appreciate you. Go ahead and check out this video next. It was last week's video where I answered all your questions from Instagram and be on the lookout for all the new films we're about to make with that right over there. They're going to be absolutely insane. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm releasing one video every single week this year in 2024. You don't wanna miss them. And like always, I will see you in the next video.